first started making videos for YouTube were to do like makeup tutorials and things like that and then I started doing the weight loss surgery videos and those were getting fun and I was having a good time with that and then I don't know makeup is my world makeup is what I love so I'm gonna head on back head on back to to my roots I want to say so this is gonna be my basics this is gonna be your you gotta go to the grocery store out the door you gotta go pick up the kids at school but don't want to look like the big you know at home mom that doesn't take care of herself blah, 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 but out the door you're looking posh you're looking good I don't know but okay concealer I use this is something I picked up I needed a concealer I was all out. has a little brush so I just hit my problem spots obviously under my eyes women always have like redness around their nose and things like that because it's um, a hormonal thing. Chins. Me around your mouth a little bit. And when I do this with my concealer all over, this is this is like five minute look. So I'm going to use my concealer as my foundation also. And I don't put foundation all over then. Because unless you need it, unless you have like a mark you want to cover up or um, get really underneath those eyelashes there. Um, or um, a mark you want to cover up, or a discoloration, or a blemish, things things like that. Then you want to put it in other place. But I just really hit my T-zone hard with this stuff. Okay, and then, you know, that's it. Now, this is my trick product for foundation. I have used this product forever. It was back when I was a Lancome girl. Lancome is probably my, one of my favorite lines of all time. And it is their dual finish um, foundation powder. This powder, can I tell you how much I love this powder? It is so versatile. It's ridiculous. It's probably cost like $35 for this powder, right? But it lasts forever. It's my my absolute splurge. I have to have this powder. I've used it probably for 10, 12 years. And just nothing, like I think I've tried to stray away from it, but I always come back. It always sucks me back in because I just, I love it so much. And you can, it's one of those ones that you can use wet or dry. I mean, it, it's a powder. It's not um, like a cream or anything like that. I use the Claire, um, is this Matte Porcelain Devoir. That's what I use. And I think I used to use Claire too. I think I can still use Claire too. But, um, so, but this is a full coverage powder. But you can use it to set foundations too. So if you are a liquid foundation fan and you use it all over, then by all means you can still use this powder. Just maybe not with a sponge or with a light hand or maybe you want to use a brush instead or things like that. But this powder, oh sweet Mary Jesus, this is the best powder ever. And... I, I don't know if my camera's going to give it justice, but it evens out your skin tone. It's going to set your 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 um, concealer that you just put on, but it just evens it out. And I mean, like, I have these crazy marks on the side of my face, and it's just going to even it out. And when you put the makeup on, you really want to just pat on the skin. You you don't want to really rub because that's just gonna kind of rub off what you got, and you gotta use the the Lancome sponge. I don't know what's so special about these sponges that come with it, but I've tried other sponges. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do with these sponges, but they're awesome. This here, it's one of their classic color blushes. I found it the other day. It's called Soft Mink, 
and it's just it's got this slight like frost to it not glittery not glittery because I'm not a glitter fan slight frost so like it kind of gives this glow to your cheek and it's just oh my gosh it's just such a beautiful beautiful color and it's neutral enough that I think most skin tones unless you're darker skin could probably pull off and it's just gorgeous and I use this as a MAC brush it's a 168 it's just a fluffy angle brush it's kind of small and you just take your color and smile and just do your basic you know just do your cheeks and you're going to start on the apple and go on back smile go to the balls and work it to your hairline like above your ear okay and then I go, you know, down my nose. I kind of think about, like, where the sun kisses my skin. And that's where I want to give a little color. I will even throw it up on my forehead a little bit, okay? So there you go. Okay, beautiful color. Beautiful. You know, come on, girl. Can you stand it? So, all right, there's that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in my brow. And this here is an automatic pencil you can get anywhere. This is one that I use. It's a no not name cosmetic. And brows just kind of frame your eye to the point where they, um, um, don't almost need makeup. Like, see, if you look at how much different my eye looks now that I just did that. And you use soft little strokes. So, um, look how easy you use these guys. You take it, right? It's cream. You just take your ring finger, always use your ring finger around your eye as much as it's because it's the weakest, it won't tongue and pull. And all you're going to do is go from lash line all the way up to your brow. This is, this is all you're going to do for your eyelids. And it's like a foundation for the eye, so it's going to even out any discolorations on your eye. It's going to um, just make it look... Um, even and clean and brightens up your eye and it just it it doesn't seem like a lot when you do it but the after effect is huge and you could use this alone or on top I mean alone or underneath eye makeup so this is what I do when I just want a little something to even out my skin tone on my eye and it just makes you look a little polished and sometimes I'll even run it underneath especially if I'm going to be using liners and stuff because it really does lock in color and things like that all right painterly paint pots by Mac get them at your Mac counters okay so, all right my favorite next mascara don't leave the house without mascara please don't go through all this trouble and then don't put put mascara on and I put loads of coats on. I'm a big mascara pig. And I just hit the top lashes. I mean, look at the difference. No mascara. High lashes. See? All right. So you do that to both eyes. Color that kind of completes the look. And, you know, look how dark it looks in a tube, but this is it going on. So when you get lip glosses, don't be de deceived by by the two because lip glosses tend to be sheer so and that's my lip so and that's my look of the day guys so this is my five minute look now I know it took me a lot longer because I was talking Gavin whatever but this is my okay I gotta get out the door in five minutes let me just get polished up so I don't embarrass my family and ta-da I'm out the door so so this is it guys so I hope you enjoy it I was I know it wasn't any kind of great tips or tricks or whatever but I just wanted to show you that it doesn't take a lot of time a lot of product or a lot of money to get out the door and looking good so um, next one is gonna be my eyes so I'm gonna show you how to fix up a hooded eye a little bit so um come back come back and see me and keep all the suggestions coming and i will see you guys soon okay bye